One, two, three, four, five, six. Dun, 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 bum, 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 dun, 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 bum, 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 dun, 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 bum, bum, dun, dun, dun. That's right. Hi, I'm Tyler Peck, and I'm a principal dancer with the New York City Ballet, but I'm currently here at Ballet X choreographing a new work for them. So I'm making a work for 10 dancers. The piece is composed by Valerie Coleman, and it is called Umoja, which actually means unity in Swahili. So I basically based my work off of that word and what I, what I think sort of the world and everyone needs right now. Um, the music sounds very joyful. Um, it's about community, I feel like. Um, times where we're together, connection. And so my choreography is basically based off of that. So I would characterize the piece as joyful and unified and I think it's like a group dance of celebration. Um, we'll go off and we'll do our own thing and then we'll all come together as one and we'll dance in harmony. It's really nice to dance something that's uplifting. Um, you can feel all the steps bringing joy as you dance them and you can feel connection with one another. For me, what this music sounds like, what this dance is, is just to bring joy to the audience. You know, I want them, the dancers to enjoy being able to dance together when we had been so isolated before. Ballet X dancers are such a community within themselves because they're a smaller company. And so I wanted it to feel like a kind of like unified effort, unified joyful moment. And I think that when you're watching dancers enjoy something, there is no way the audience cannot enjoy it. You know, you just see the, the smiles and the joy and it just kind of pours out through the audience. Um, so for me, that's what I'm, I'm hoping it, it, it brings. And I think it is at the right time. We all need that. Um, I would say she is pretty quick. She came in knowing exactly what she wanted to do. Um, she gave us the steps and she let us kind of play with the movement. And then she gave us corrections based on like how we interpreted her movement. Every step that she gives, you can see that in her dancing. It's very much her own style. I've always just followed the music. It's always my starting off point. And if I'm in love with the music and I really feel like I know it well, um, then the steps kind of flow easily for me. The music is very complex. I feel like it's very ongoing and we never stop really dancing. Like we'll leave the stage, but as we leave, other people are continuously dancing but it, it keeps you motivated and it keeps you going and you can like feel like you're creating almost a story within the movement. I think the hardest part of the choreography is the stamina and keeping that technique very precise. Oh my God, I'm such a perfectionist, yeah. I think I've gotten a little better, I will say. But it used to be like if something like if a finger was like out of place, like something that nobody would even see, I would be like upset for like two weeks. Um, and then I realized, you know what? Nobody really wants to see a perfect performance. Like what does that even mean? Like perfect in a sense to me almost is something that's boring to watch, right? Like sometimes I know when I'm choreographing and mistakes happen, sometimes that's what I'm like, oh, keep that. That's even better. I think maybe... Diet. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's see what that was like. That was what I was thinking, but I like that. So she's. And I think that that's what's amazing about 
live audience and watching live art is that things happen in performances and sometimes the most beautiful things are what comes out of you know, a mistake or something that didn't go as perfect as you thought it would. Not to say that I'm not constantly striving to get better and improve, like I'm a perfectionist in that quality, but yeah, I think that nobody wants to see a perfect performance, yeah. I guess my favorite part about being a choreographer is just watching like the collaborative experience. You know, I can make a step on myself or with Roman, we can make a partnering phrase, but then immediately what I love doing is seeing how it looks on the, the people in front of me. Um, I've never thought that there was like one way and immediately I could be like, oh, you know, that might look good on me, but it's not the right step or that was a horrible idea when I see it on them. Um, I, I, I can instantly know. So for me, I think it's just that give and take between the dancer and choreographer, and I love doing it together. Um, so I guess that's my favorite, favorite part, is working with the dancers and finding our way together.